Father's love everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to bring you a video by Brother JT entitled Hold On Saints. So buckle up and get ready. Hopefully you can get a little inspiration from Brother JT. All right, look like we got it. I want to welcome everybody back to another live chat um, slash Bible study. As we first of all, off top, give the Holy Spirit all the honor, the glory, all the praise and worship. It's a blessing to just even wake up. It's a blessing just to even lay down. Some folks lay down last night. They didn't wake up this morning. Some folks woke up this morning and full of anger, uh, full of depression, uh, so many things, but I counted all joy in spite of these last and evil days we living in, these hard times that we are living in. Uh, Stephen um, Lewis, how you doing? And welcome on. Uh, Peter Lex, sh uh, shalom to you all. So welcome all my brothers and sisters. Um, this is going to be a Bible study. Um, as my title says, Ladarius, welcome on. Hold on, saints. Hold on, saints. To y'all that's online, Stephen, Pete, and Ladarius, let me ask you a question. From your own definition, what is your definition of what a saint is before we move on? What is your definition of a saint? When you hear the word saint, what comes to your mind? <clears throat> I want to I wanna break this down before we move a little further. Because so many people have the wrong idea of saint. Lyrically outspoken, well said. You say servant, amen. Definitely agree with that. And and and, and um, great, great comment. Stephen, you say saint is someone who follows the most high. I like that. Come on, y'all. As always, I don't want to call it Jesus the way repentance saying no more. Welcome on. The dad, you said some you said someone who lives for the Lord Jesus Christ, a prayer life. Amen. Amen. And Pete, you say holiness. Come on now. That's the word I was really looking for. Holiness. Amen. And the dads, you say obeying the commandments. That's another good one. And Jerry, welcome on. You said we must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Because y'all are ill spirit. There is no other way to worship other than spirit and in truth. Now, I love the comments of, of Saint. Because, first of all, a saint ain't something you call yourself because you've been so good. I'll teach Holy Spirit. There's my beautiful sister, Tanisha, coming on in. Welcome on in, sister. It's not something you call yourself because you think you speak in tongues good or you can out pray somebody. First of all, let's, let's break this down. A saint used to be one of the worst of the sinners all right i hear a lot of preachers they don't they don't teach this right a saint was way worse than what you thought they was see nowadays when you hear a lot of people like you know i call myself saint you know i'm a saint you ever seen that show called saint and sinners <laughs> And uh, I think that was Donna McClurkin that did that song back in the day called We Fall Down. But we get up for a saint. It's just a sinner who fell down. But one thing about that is as a, as, a, as a saint, when you get in that saint category, ain't no way you should keep falling down. Now, you're going to have times where you may miss the mark. But a saint does not practice sin. So as you see my title in this, in, in this Bible study, Hold On Saints, because of what we're living in. But y'all know I've been... 
I've been preaching this same stuff for years, but I, the most times just, just had me lay in the bed and go back to the scriptures again. And, and he, he, put, he put me in Daniel. He put me in Revelation. And as my wife was just walking by, I said, okay, okay, Holy Spirit, show me what you, show me what you're trying to get me to tell your people. And he said, go live. And I'm going to be obedient. So we're going to deal with Daniel 7 and 25. And then we're going to deal with Revelation 13 and 7. And then we're going to deal with Revelation 6 verses 9 through 11. Now keep that in mind about saint. Now, let me, let me get my sword over here. Remember my title. Keep this title in mind. Hold on, saints. Now, back in the Old Covenant, Daniel in verse 25 of chapter 7 said, And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And here we go. He shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And think to change times and laws, and they shall be given unto his hand until a time and times and a divide of times. Now let's pause. I'm taking my time with this. First of all, we already know this is the Antichrist. These are not popular messages because it's not a prosperity gospel message. It's not talking about you feeling good and, 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 and receiving this and receiving that. This is talking about the Bible. The, uh, the Bible, excuse me, is talking about the saints being woe out. Mm. Come on, teach Holy Spirit. He said, first of all, he's going to speak great things. Nope. He's going to speak great words against the Most High. Come on now, teach Holy Spirit. And he shall wear out the saints. But then he says, they change in times and laws. Oh, come on, teach Holy Spirit. What do they always do? Daylight savings time. Set your clock back. <laughs> Set it forward. Mm. I, keep, I keep telling everybody, this is why you can't put the most time on the time frame either. Because, because this calendar that we have in this world system is not the time set of the Most High. That is a satanic calendar. You, you ever want to know how do you know that? Well, just look at it and look at the Bible. Look at Passover. Look at how they incorporated the, 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 the holidays instead of the holy days. Why they keep up with, with, with holidays, but they when it comes time to teaching holy days... It's only a few that do that. Welcome on, my sister Mercedes. So in this world system, as, as the Bible just showed us in Daniel 7, 25, they're going to always keep changing laws and changing time. Okay? That shows you that that's the, that's the world system of Satan. But then you have the most high system. See, right now, Satan's system, it's is, is, is got people so shaken up. But see, I'm so glad that the Most High, I'm not, I'm not grateful that people are dying and none of that, but I'm so glad that the Most High is allowing this to happen so he can get some more attention. He's trying to shake up his people to, to get their attention once again, but everybody ain't no saint. Mm. So when I'm saying, hold on, saint, everybody not in their saint category, teach Holy Spirit. It's only a few that's going to really say, I die for you, Father. See, most are going to be just like Peter. And, and, and I, well, I'm with you one minute. Well, do, do you love me, Peter? He had to ask Peter three times, do you love me? Yeah, I love you. I love you. Do you love me more than this fishing? Do you love me enough to teach my word? Do you love me enough to follow me? Do you love me to give your life for me? Oh, I'm, come on, y'all. I'm asking y'all the same question. Hmm. To save your life, you must lose your life. 
This is what we're dealing with in the text right here. I'm, I'm still on Daniel 7, 25. So the Antichrist is showing you, showing us that he's making war and wearing the saints out. Hmm. You can't help but to get the war out in your flesh. I don't care how strong you are, how many weights you live, how much power you think you got on your own. Satan is wearing the saints out. Hmm. That's why it's so important to stay prayed up, to keep on the whole armor as the Bible teaches us. This, now, everybody, we need to pray now. Man. It's time to come together and pray. It always takes something like a, a, a virus or, or, or something dramatic or earthquake or something else to happen for. Well, then we got to come together now. Mm -mm -mm. See, it's shaking up very hard now because each day they go by, it seems like the longer this coronavirus thing is going to last. But the, but the Yah is allowing this to happen. But I don't know about y'all. I, I, I ain't Mr. Mill. <laughs> I, I'm still operating like ain't nothing happened. How about you? And I'm talking about even in my layoff. I ain't hurting for nothing. Because the most High had already set set things in place to, to, to get us already okay, I can say, for this right here that's coming. That done came now. And what's to come in the future. So hold on, saints. I know your church building is closed, but hold on. I know your church church building is closed, but don't stop praying. I know the church building is closed, but have your own Bible study. You should be doing that before you get to the building anyway. I, I know the building is closed, but stop waiting on the pastor to do everything for you. When two or three is gathered, Father is in the midst. He's here with us right now. Well, where is God at through this coronavirus? Where has God always been? Hmm. Amen, Revelation 20 and 30, uh, 15. Let's move on. Let's let's move on to Revelation 13. Um uh, let me see where we, yeah, Revelation Revelation 13. And we look at we're gonna look at verses. Revelation 13, chapter 7. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry, Revelation 13 and 7. Okay. Now, y'all notice in all all these scriptures, I'm going to be dealing with the word saint. Since we done broke down what a saint is. Now, here it is in Revelation 13 and 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. The Antichrist, the Bible shows you right here, the Antichrist has the power, not only making war but the saints, but it said he overcome them. See, these messages are not popular because it ain't too many preachers going to preach the saints are being wore out. It ain't too many preachers right now that want to tell you that that, that, that Satan made war and overcome them. Because that, that, that don't sound too good. That, me, that messes up a, a, a prosperity gospel message. See, But see, now that the building is closed once again, all those money-hungry, begging preachers, what kind of word do they have now? Hmm. What the word, what's the word that they have now? He said he was giving power... Over all kindreds and all tongues and nations. That's everything. Right? That's why the Bible say the whole world whores after the beast. Mm, mm, mm. Teach Holy Spirit. Here it is. We, we just came from Daniel 7 and 25. Now we're in Revelation um, 13, uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 7. The Bible once again shows you that the saints are being woe out. Don't you think Christ was worn out in the flesh? Notice what I'm talking about is flesh. I didn't say we've been worn out spiritually. 
Because, see, my spirit don't never give up. I know that I can't, I don't rely on my own power because I know better than that. Ain't no way I can, I, I have a chance at the devil on my own. We got to understand that, that the longer we are around here, things are going to take a turn for the worse before they get better. Y'all hear me talk about this false peace all the time. We have to, we have to be under the Holy Spirit, y'all. Hold on, saints, once again. Now, let's go to, let's go to the last one. Revelation chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. Now, I will drop a Bible, sorry about that. Revelation 6, 9 through 11. Now, y'all hear me talk about these seals a lot. But I want I want to go now I want to go to some I want to go to some saints that really went through. These saints weren't looking for no pre-trip. Uh-oh. They weren't looking for no escape route. They were killed. Revelation 6 um 7 uh 9 through 11 says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. Notice the Bible say they were under the altar of the uh, they were they, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain. These saints were killed. And then verse 10 say, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true? Does thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on earth? In other words, how long, Heavenly Father, will it be for you get those and punish them that killed us, that done these things to us? These saints went through. They were murdered. Ain't no telling what else happened to them. But they cried out with a loud voice, Father, how long will it be? You remember David got mad. God, how long will it be for you keep letting the wicked prosper? Seem like the wicked is always winning, but the wicked ain't winning. It seems like that, but the wicked is not winning. Because the Bible say the wicked will be cut off. Amen, Natalie. These saints was asking for justice. How long will it be? And then verse 11 says, And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest Yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Now, wait a minute. Did you catch that? Not only were they killed, but the Bible just said it was going to be some more brethren. We could just say brothers and sisters. It was going to be some more of them killed just like them. Well, now, well come on, y'all. I know, I, know, I know they don't feel too good. That's why I keep asking people. What, see, see, it's time. It's it's time to stop talking about your building fund. Uh oh. It's time to realize what we are truly living in. It's time to stop worrying about your next bake sale and and and, and, and your next raffle ticket on who gonna win and, and, and get the next TV. In these revivals, I'm trying to I'm trying to open some of us up, Sister Jennifer, and let us know that it, most high ain't playing. These saints, Sister Tanisha, I'm gonna sound the alarm once again. These saints were killed, and other saints was getting ready to be killed right behind them. I wonder if they open back up the church building. And somebody else go up in there with a gun and say, if you're going to live for Christ, I'm going to blow your head off right now. I, I wonder how many people would say, i die for him and lose their life. We have to understand that we are the saints. That was Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. Revelation chapter 13, verse 7. Revelation chapter 6, verses uh, 9 through 11. May the Most High add a blessing to the readers and the hearers and the doers of 
his holy word. Thank you, Father, for the word. I hope and pray that we are, as you also say in Revelation, he that have an ear, let them hear. See, it's time to get past this watered-down doctrine. It's time for true saints to show who true saints really are. And once again, if you're just tuning in, I said earlier at the beginning of this video that a saint is not somebody that was all that good. A saint was one of the worst of the sinners at first. But the Bible say that, that any man made in Christ is a new creature, that old things shall pass. I didn't say they're going to pass overnight, but that sister that used to be that, that terrible low-down sister, that, that's not her no more. That brother that used to that used to rob and, and, and cuss folk out and get drunk and hide and run away, that's not him no more. He have been made new. She have been made new. So that's when you start falling into that saints category because now you are living on the right path. But I know also that there are some that's new in the faith. And then there are some that I like to call veterans in the faith. Because you have been on this battlefield a long time. And you are on guard. You ain't never stopped praying. You ain't never stopped believing. And you ain't never stopped knowing. You see what's going on. But in times like this, you realize that ain't nothing but another distraction. So many people are shaking up. And they, they, they don't know. They don't know who to turn to and, and who they should be turning to is the Holy Spirit. Hold on, saints. All right, y'all, that's the end of my Bible study. Now I can um, get ready to focus on this screen here so I can look at some of y'all comments here. But that once again, may the Most High add a blessing to the readers, the hearers and doers of His Holy Word. Thank y'all for being patient with me and let me get the first part out of the way. Brother Ryan, see that's just that's just another trick of the devil. These spirits are attacking everybody. But what you gotta remember, Brother Ryan, is you don't fight these spirits on your own. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what's fighting for us. You know, I know if it, your flesh will get wore out, you know. You can give out, but don't give up. The devil wants so many people to commit suicide right now. But we know better than that. Amen, Revelation 20 and 15. You say, let us give thanks to the Father for this time to fellowship with each other. Yes. Yes. Tanisha, you say the mark of the beast, uh, I listen to a message. Shepherd Chapel teaches. Oh yes, yes. If you if you if you listen to that Pastor Arnold Murray, you in good hands, sister. I uh, he he sent me that DVD about fifteen years ago, I believe. That's one of the best um teachers I ever heard on the mark of the beast. And he he chops it down and show everybody to get past all this this physical mark. And start looking at the, the uh, spiritual mark. So I know if you if you done looked at that or done read that, sister, you, hey, amen, amen. That's all I'm going to say is amen. Uh, man, I miss Pastor Mary. I used to listen to him, Sister Tanisha, every morning from 5, uh, five to 6 o'clock, the whole hour. Hey, man, you say it's hoeing out to the bees, hoeing out to money. Money, it, yeah, it could be also with money. You know, but it's uh, it's more than one way to prostitute yourself. A great question, Abraham. But yeah, um, the 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 people that love material things and wealth, um, and just following the beast. Period. You know, people that that's on guard know not to whore after the beast. Amen, brother. PP drawings. Amen. Well said, brother. And I agree with you. That's right, Tanisha. Um, yeah, Shepherd Chapel, give it out to you free.
Hey, Sister Brittany, and welcome on. <clears throat> oh, Hurricane All Stars, you said Pastor Cochran. Yes, Pastor Cochran just did a dynamic live chat. Oh, uh, man. Ooh, I hope I hope y'all some of y'all got to catch it. It was giving us a hard time trying to get in there at first. It wasn't a PP drawing, but we got in there. But yes, Pastor Cochran will always stand on truth. Hey Amen, Sister Tanisha. Yeah, uh, Dennis Mary is also. Yeah, just like his dad, man. I know the other son had passed away years ago too. But all the man, they dynamic, man. They was dynamic. Well said, Revelation 2015. Uh, to begin the sorrows, you said, what's your thoughts on churches going live instead of keeping their churches open? Um, uh, boy, I've been, my email been blown up with this same question because a lot of people ask me, JT, why a lot of pastors, uh, pastors wasn't going live in the first place to try to reach, reach more on the internet? I always say it's each to their own. Uh, but, a lot of them, uh, begin of sorrow, they have to shut down, um, uh, because of the government. Um, I'm not saying just, I'm not saying even if it's, even if it's not a 501c3 church, um, according to the law, um, unless you want to get locked up, you know, go to jail, um, which most people are not going to do. It's already hard enough out here. So they don't have no choice but to go live now, um. Uh, it was one church down in Louisiana. Um, they were still open and, and, and had invited in 300 people. But I think they shut that one down now too, the military. Um, so, you know when it come, when it's going to come all the way down to this law, um, with the government especially, they're going to they gonna, they gonna shut it down. So, there, there's most most churches now, they, they can't do nothing but go live. So, that's my little input on that, um, you know. But as I always say, you can't shut down the church. Somebody will catch that later. I ain't talking about your building. The Darius, you say, is the Antichrist going to be revealed during my lifetime? Um, the Antichrist is all, the, let, let me say it like this. When you say Antichrist and then the, the, the Antichrist, we can say it's upper, uh, uppercase letter A and lowercase letter A. The man of sin will be revealed, but there are many antichrists, forerunners, that's been here, you know. A lot of them are in the government. I always like to say even Trump is one of the, one of the uh, runners of the antichrists. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of antichrists out here, you know. So just just keep that in mind. But when the man of sin with that one will we will will be revealed in front of the whole world, I don't know when that's going to happen. <clears throat> but the spirit of the antichrist and many. Antichrists have been here. That's why God told us to test the spirit by the spirits to see if they are of God. There's a lot of evil spirits out here. Amen, Sister Barbara. <clears throat> Great feedback, everybody. Amen, uh, Prophetess Rebecca. I feel you with that comment. And well said and welcome on. And you're right, Sister Jennifer. That is a form of witchcraft when you can... It's, just a, it's that Jezebel controlling spirit. Uh, Barry Lewis, you say, what's my thoughts on Minister Lewis? Jay Armstrong, I don't know who that is. Sorry, I can't... Um, I don't know. I'm saying sorry, but I don't know who that is, so I can't comment on it. <clears throat> See, if you're really catching to what's going on, that's why the Bible shows you that Satan, his kingdom is in order. Anybody that don't think his kingdom is, is not in order, you better go back and study again. And and, and But what's going to happen, the, the, the devil is going to turn on his own, according to the scripture. They yeah, all don't want to call it. But then it's going to be a certain change when, because Satan ain't never wanted to share the worship with nobody. He always wanted the glory all by himself. That's why he said, I'm going to exalt myself higher than the most high. 
But the most I couldn't allow that to happen, you know. I think they're going to have another government shutdown um, coming. I ain't going to say soon, but don't, don't be shocked when you hear the news again. Uh, they, they, done, they got another government shutdown. That's right, Brother Rodney. You say they're preparing to manifest Satan in the physical really soon, so we better wake up, Jesus said, and watch and pray for a reason. That's why I'm always watching and looking and praying, brother. Amen. And, and, and amen, Mercedes. You said the kingdom divided amongst itself shall not stand in it. Come on now. That's why y'all see my title again. Hold on, saints. Hold on. I hate to say it like this. Satan's kingdom is in order. And most of the church buildings are out of order. I didn't say the most high was out of order. I said most of the church buildings are out of order. Y'all catch that. That's why most people in the building, I ain't talking about all buildings, they can't get on one accord. They can't get on one accord. They fuss, they fight, they arguing, they raising hell in the business meetings. They worried about the building but not the body. So that's why... When you see all that confusion, the most high is not in it, you know. So when I say once again, hold on, saints. Uh, I mean that. It's a um, it's a boxer man, um, Shannon Briggs. I don't know y'all to y'all that watch boxing. Uh, he done kind of settled down now, but Shannon Briggs, he would always say, "Let's go, champ." <laughs> Let's go, champ. I don't know if y'all know familiar with him, but that's what I like to say for the Saints. Let's go, Saints. And it don't matter how big the person is. Shannon Briggs, he gonna, he'll bust up in the press conference or wherever. Let's go. <laughs> he was always ready for battle. And that's the same thing I want to tell y'all is let's go. Let's go, Saints. Hold on, Saints, to God's unchanging hand. Because how many times y'all gonna I'm, I'm gonna say this till I die. Your faith is gonna be tested more and more and more. But most most people in the church being they they that I was talking to the other day, man, they were so worried about the, the, the uh folks on the outside and talking about the world this and the world that I said one 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 thing came back to my mind, brother Rodney. Let the wheats and the tares grow together. Because when harvest time come, who's going to do the separating? Amen, Tanisha. We, we better know it. Welcome on, Brother Titus. Like them shoes too, Brother Titus. And, and, and now they didn't look good. So I just caught your email. I'm, 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 I'm backed up on my emails, man. I got a lot I'm behind on. Just, just bear with me. But you see... Um, Lee, I like your comment. You see now how they said that America has taken over with the coronavirus. It's not in China like it was. Now it's gone pretty much. But for us, we got it better than China now. You see how they keep switching that stuff? And then I forgot what I was reading earlier. They said that they have found the cure for the coronavirus. Where was that at? Oh, man. See how the, the media, that's why I keep saying you cannot believe everything that that media says. You can't. They're going to always tell you one thing because it's owned by the wicked. What Jesus said again, it's going to be just like the days of Noah before I return. What happened in Noah's day? How wicked was it? Who was partying and marrying? Were they all human? Nope. Here we go again. So best believe we are living in that right now. These are the things I wish that these churches would just start teaching. That's why Christ recognized. He, 
he always recognized the devil's work. He always recognized the devil's children. That's why he told them, you are of your father, the devil. People look at that way. He wasn't talking about, you know, the devil can, you know, really have a seed like offspring, was it? Yes. <laughs> the devil's children is always the ones taking and robbing and stealing and killing and murdering. What's the, what, what, what's the, what's Satan's job to kill, steal, and destroy? What, what do you think the seed do? Steal, kill, and destroy. Let the weeds and the tasks go together. Come on, speak on it. Come on, y'all. Come on now. So when we look at all this we just been talking about in this live chat, we got to understand as saints, once again, you got to hold on. I love that song. Um, who was that? Sounds of Blackness. Hold on. Your change is coming. I love when that verse come in. He say some people like to worry. Some people like to hide. Some people like to run away from the pain inside. But he said, but make that your business. Do You can do whatever you want to do. But if they don't work out... Here's what you ought to do is hold on. There are some people that's not willing to hold on no more, saints. There are some that call themselves saints. They done jumped out of the race. There are some who call themselves disciples and they done stop following. There are preachers who have sat down and said, I'm just tired. I can't. I don't want to preach no more. Hell, with these times going like this, you should be preaching at your hardest. Don't let no virus scare you from preaching and then standing on what's, what's real. But they done listen at the media. The media have promoted so much fear. They don't believe so much. People are putting the media over the word. Sad. That's why I, I said in our other live chat, I hope people can see now that it's not about religion. Because when you shut down every church, you better have your relationship tight with the Holy Spirit. I know mine is. But if y'all notice anything about JT, I'm still doing the same thing I was doing before all this stuff happened. Cause I'm not just going to stop. I'm not going to wait on some dramatic to pick up the Bible and try to give y'all the word. I'm talking to the saints now. I ain't talking to everybody. This is for the saints. If you consider yourself in the saints category, give me a thumbs up. But once again, when you understand what it takes to be a saint, to live as a saint, Ain't too many people want that. They, they don't want that on them. Amen. I see some thumbs up, Brother Michael. The beginning of sorrows. Come on now. Because I'm going to tell you something about being a saint. You will be persecuted. You are persecuted. You are lied on. Don't expect this world to like you. If you are a saint, expect over half of your family to turn on you. If you are a saint, don't expect a lot of church folks to agree with you if you are a saint. Remember that you're going to continue to be tested if you are a saint. You better be praying if you are a saint. You better be prayed up if you are a saint. You better be being obedient. You better be studying. You better be living what you are reading. If you are a saint, you know that things are going to get worse. If you are a saint... You don't really walk around with this, do you? Oh, somebody catch that. You really don't walk around with this because you got it right here. Why? Because a saint know that God also said, boy, I will put the word in your heart. I'm not a Bible toting believer. Y'all know that. Because I'm going to tell you something. The more and more you study, the more it's going to stay inside your heart, your mind. You'll wake up with the word in your heart, the word on your mind. The heart, boy, I tell you, the heart is awesome. 
like we got a, a major storm getting ready to come. But I hope and pray I have said something um, that have encouraged you in these lying times. Uh, somebody catch that later. <laughs> and if you have been falling, slipping, I hope you have been convicted. I hope that you have a change of heart because as Pastor Cochran said uh, uh, on that live chat, Brother Rodney, I like when he said repentance is a change, a change of heart, a turn. He said repentance is a turn. I love that, Pastor Cochran, because that's what it is. And some of us, long as we are not being addressed with the sin, we walk around and live in it and keep doing it like ain't nothing happened. David did it. Amen, Tanisha. God sent the prophet Nathan to confront David with that story. Told David this story. David said, my man should have been killed. He said, I'm talking about you, David. But but the question is, why didn't, why didn't David repent before that? Because mm. see, sometimes we walk around and, and, and love what we do. And if don't nobody see me doing it, don't nobody address it, I'm going to keep doing it. Well, that ain't the way we supposed to be. I'm so glad that, that the Most High will put people in your life like Nathan to remind you, brother, you wrong. Sister, you wrong. So, saints, let me get all the way real. If you truly a saint, then you done kill that pre-trip theory. Uh-oh. Mm. Mm. Because as my title say once again, hold on, saints. I'm not talking to the pre-trail believers. This message is not for y'all because y'all are already gone according to what y'all believe. And I still love you. I just hate you believe that lie. And I stand bold. I don't care what degree you got. I don't care how many members you got. I will stand against a pre-trail teaching in any day. That's a false teaching. Hold on, saints. We just covered what the Bible says. Satan is wearing out the saints. Satan makes war with the saints. Those saints in Revelation that, that 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 was under the altar, they souls was crying out. They was wanting to see justice, as somebody said. They wanted revenge. Get them, God. That's the type of saints I like to be around. If you in the military, you don't want no coward watching your back. <laughs> you don't want nobody watching your back that's scary. So I don't want no scary person around me like that. Now I understand some gotta grow but my, my issue with that is if you was bold for the world what are you scared for in, in, in the kingdom of God? But I, I would have took a bullet for you. But you won't follow me as I follow Christ? Something wrong with that. Hmm. You, follow, you follow me when I was wrong but you can't follow me while I'm trying to do right. I, I ain't never said living right was easy. But living right is easy. Somebody catch that. that did somebody catch that later on. Because the more and more you die to yourself, the more and more you hate sin. That's how you know you're a true saint. Because you hate sin. You're going to be like Job. You hate it. You don't want no part of it. You're going to pray whether you, you're going to pray, pray over your children whether they sin or not. That's how you hate sin. Because you know that it, it, it separates you from the Father. You know that God hates sin. And you know that the wages of sin is death. I don't know nobody that's trying to just die right now. If you're anything like me, you ought to be like Paul. Well, if you're ready for me to go, I go. But if you're ready for me to stay, I'll stay. I, I still want to stay because I know some more people need to be reached. I don't feel like my, my work is, is, is over with yet. But when, when that day comes, I'm going to be just like Paul. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run. <laughs> Take me on out. I have finished the race. I'll finish the course. Some of us want to leave ahead of time and I don't even want to finish. We want to escape route. But I'm going to say it again. Hold on, saints. 
Hold on. Look at the ones in the Bible that held on. What make you so special that you get a pre-trib? Uh-oh, that's a whole other video. I might do a video called, What make you think you so special that you get a pre-trib? Were you better than Paul? <laughs> Were you better than, than, than the ones that went before you? You get a do you get a special spot? Me too, Natalie. I hate it. What make them think they got something special, brother Rodney? Mm. <laughs> brother Rodney, I can honestly say you the type of brother that every believer should want to be around in, in, in these in these last and evil days, brother. That 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 when you see brothers like that, you just it made me it made me just think of a war. And I'd be like, as long as I, I see you on the back side, let's go. Let's go, Saints. Let's go, Saints. <laughs> let's go. Are y'all ready? How many are willing? How many are willing? If it calls you your life, it's still a blessing. You know why? Because to die in Christ is to gain eternal life. Let's go, saints. Let's go. That's my new word now. Let's go. Brother Adrian, been, he, he's not on today, but Brother Adrian I always said anyway, let's go. If it calls you your life. I had a brother tell me that, man, I, I'm living for my mama, brother. Man, my, 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 my brothers and sisters, my... My children, I, I, I say, but how many are living for God? Mm. What if your church building don't never open back up? I'm just let's let's just let's just speak hypothetically for a moment. I know this this is just just what if? Let's just say what else? What if your building never open back up? Mm. What would you do? Would you study more? Would you? Some ain't studying at all. What if? What if in the next hour, the electricity go out in all 50 states for the next five days? And then electricity come back on and then the water go off for the next six days. What would you do? Most of them already lost their job. See, things can always be worse than what they are, my brothers and sisters. But what if? What if that gas shortage happened again like it did um, a few years ago? You couldn't get gas nowhere. What would you do? <laughs> you know how many preachers would, would be out of business if the building didn't open back up i got a call but my phone had man since this coronavirus my email and my phone and text messages i can't keep up with it everybody jt you said it, you said it bro into the musicians it's a lot of musicians that's um going crazy because since the building is closed they don't get paid What 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 are they gonna do? Hmm. I can't pay my bills. I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm a musician also. I church closed up too. I got laid off before that happened. Do, do you see me worried? Do you see me stressed out? No. As I told y'all, the Most High had already set me up in the position for ready for whatever. My wife got let go before all this stuff happened. It's still going to school. <laughs> My point is, what, what's your point, JT? Um, when you, come on, brother PP drawings. When you operate in God's system, <laughs> it never shuts down. Even though this world system can be shut. Oh, hallelujah, uh, prophets, Rebecca. 
but God would never stop providing for his people. Woo! Come on, Brother Rodney. Get, we, can, we don't know when to shout, do we? Mm. I've been at my lowest, and he still provided. I hope I'm helping somebody. I laid up in the hospital on my sick bed when my wife still wasn't working. He provided. Wasn't missing me a meal. He put people in my life that that sold and, and, and me. I mean, I can't explain to you. Whew. And when he brought me back out of the sickness, he brought me back harder than ever before. You know what I'm doing? Still speaking. I got videos I could send to y'all when I was in the hospital, and I'm still preaching. How many of us will preach on our our hospital bed, a deathbed, when they when they told you, yeah, well, your heart ain't you 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 look like you're gonna die, brother. I don't think your heart gonna get any better. You can't get on the heart list. That same heart, woo! I'm helping, I'm helping somebody now. The same heart that they said wasn't gonna get no better, all the way back to the right percentage. Don't 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 tell me my God have stopped being in the blessing business. Don't tell me that he he not healing no more. Don't tell now you just don't stop trusting and believing. In your worst situation can be your best situation. But as brother PP Jones been preaching for years, when you trust God's system, when you operate in it, what church shut down? What sickness? What divorce? Uh-oh. What hard time? You're gonna have these hard times. But my point is you're gonna you're gonna count it all joy. You're gonna smile. How am I able to smile right now? You think I'm sitting up here worried about some damn toilet paper? <laughs> I don't understand that one, no way. Think about the older, older, older saints who had old rags in the in, in the outhouse. Did God leave you in, in, in Y2K 2000? Uh-oh. Did he leave you when the Zika virus was there? I'm just following the Holy Spirit, y'all. Should not put worrying about this and worry. Worrying and, 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 and fear don't come from the most high. Excuse me. You know another reason I wasn't worried about nothing because I buy in the books anyway. Man, I had toilet paper from Sam. I, I, I can't remember the last time I bought toilet paper. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to worry about getting ready. I always try to get more than enough. Because you never know what's going to happen. Why everybody out there running and jumping and fighting. I'm talking about people literally having fist fighting over, over toilet paper. Good plumber of mine, but my, my, my plumber buddy, he said, man, his business is booming because having the people are flushing um, napkins and, 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 and um, paper towels down the toilet. Just crazy stuff. You ain't got no paper. Jump your butt in the shower. Let, let me leave that alone. See, people panic. When you panic, you will never make good decisions. I ain't been to the store. I didn't stocked up on none of this stuff. Cause I, why? And see, this this is what people don't want to tell you. When it gets real, 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 real rough, when folk find out that you do have something, you know what they're gonna try to do? Rob you. So it's best not to tell everybody what you got. No way. <laughs> That's right, brother Rodney. That's right. I can't, I've been trying to figure this out since it happened. Uh, it just show you how stupid and, and confusing. What, it, it, it's a virus, okay, I understand it. But what in the hell is all this getting all the toilet paper for? <laughs> I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't understood that one. Yeah, it ain't for me to understand. That made better sense in 2000 when the man told you the world was going to end. Yeah, that made more sense then. It still didn't make sense because if the world was going to end, what you going to do with all this toilet paper? Stupid confusion. If the world was going in, where you gonna take all that bottled water? 
There you go, Tanisha. People put in the panic attack. Uh, Michael, you said, I really wish I could thank P.P. Jones teaching on the way. He's right there online. He right there, brother Michael. He, he's up a, 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 a few comments ahead of yours. Brother Rodney, that, that is a powerful book. Very powerful. Cause when you when you when you when you read that book, the first the first pages ought to get your attention. And if you I don't know if he got any more left, but he's online. But anybody anybody that wanna read that book from PP Jones, he, he's right here online. He can give you that information right now. Just ask we'll ask him to put it in the comment. You welcome, brother Michael. I have, you know what, brother Michael? I tell you all the time. In these days, time you better have a sense of humor. I'm so glad the most high bless. I got a crazy sense of humor. Me and my wife, we sit up and laugh at so much stuff, you know, because it's it's just stupid. A lot of it, a lot of it is is, is ignorance, but the majority of it is is stupidity. But then that shows you once again who is who's really following you are. Brother PB Drawings, they want to know if you can post that information up there real quick about how to get your book right there. But yeah, he's he, he's up there. He brother, he's on the screen. Brother, brother Rodney, Rodney Jackson, he's right here with us. Amazing man of the most high. Amazing man of the most high. I've been knowing Brother PP Drawings about probably about 15 years now online. Brother been this brother been speaking and in my life sowing in me for years and everything this brother done told me that was gonna happen, it happened. So when you see that name on screen right there, PP Jones, it's a powerful brother. And I also look at his pastor, Pastor Leonard D. Cochran, a place of refuge, uh Noonan, Georgia. Another man that, that will speak. And a lot of times people say, I don't need no, I don't need nobody to speak in my life. All right, well, I disagree with you. Because a real man of God, a real saint, a real person that's sent, I'm going to say mankind that's sent from the most high, they will speak. And not, not only will they speak, it's going to come to play. It's going to happen. And when you sow at them, they're gonna keep. They're gonna continue to keep sowing in you. That's what we wasn't taught growing up. See, growing up, all you saw was these begging preachers who couldn't hardly preach. All they did was holler and scream, said a few little sentences, little scriptures, and that was it. But when you read uh, Galatians six and six, it shows you about a real man of God. You benefit off of each other. We just wasn't taught that. Amen, Baron Light. Six and six of Galatians. Six and six. That scripture is taught wrong a lot. <clears throat> Somebody asked me, um, and I'm going to use you for an example, Brother Rodney. Because we all have different talents. We all have uh, different gifts. We all have abilities. Brother asked me about music playing. If I played Rivers in the Sky by Stevie Wonder, am I wicked? <laughs> if I draw Jay Z and I made money for it, am I wicked? I laugh because I'm going to use you for an example, Brother Rodney. Just because Brother Rodney drew a picture of Oprah. Does that consider Brother P.P. P. Drawings wicked? Because he drew a picture of Oprah? Or if he drew a picture of somebody that the world calls wicked, that don't, don't like no more, or whatever? No. Amen, Prophetess Rebecca. No. Am I wicked if I play a song that's not a church song? No. I wish people would get past this little elementary 
type of stuff like that, you know. <clears throat> because your gift, <laughs> I'm going to say this again, your gift will make room for you. Just because so many church folks, well, I wouldn't have drew that or I wouldn't have. Mm -mm, I, we, 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 we have to realize religious people are very different than spiritual people. And I leave it at that. Hey Amen, everybody. Well, it's time for JT to go eat lunch. But man, hold on, Saints. Let's go, Saints. Let's go. It's gonna get. It's not. It's not gonna get easier, y'all. We are. Where, 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 where is that? Begin of sorrows. I see you on the screen. We are still in these begin of sorrows, birth pains. The earth is hurting. Y'all remember that when I did that video called Even the Earth Wants to Get Even Even the Earth Want to Get Back to Its Original State. The Bible say that the earth is groaning. Not only are we groaning, but the earth is groaning. That's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother video. Amen, Brother Baron. You say let's go Saints and I ain't from New Orleans. <laughs> I ain't talking about the New Orleans Saints either. I'm talking about the Saints of the Most High, but I, I'll hear you on that. But we got to understand, everything is happening still in the plan of the Father. So as I close, I want to lift y'all up in prayer like I always do. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come once again with bowed heads and humble hearts, Father. We, we come leaning not into our own understanding, but your understanding and trusting in you, loving you, following you, thanking you for who you are and what you are. Some people only want to thank you for what you have done, Father. But once we learn to thank you for who you are and what you are, that's the true thanking of you, Father. We just love you right now. Father, there are so many people that's, that's in fear. And you also told us that the strong supposed to bury the weak. So as one of the strong ones, as one of the bold saints, I come boldly and, and I just ask you, Father, to just lay your hand on all the ones that's weak in their strength right now. Remind me of the church in Revelation. You commended them, but you said even though you, you, you are weak, you kept true. And some of us are, are so weak right now, Father, that we can't even think straight. I pray for that individual right now. I pray, Father, for... Uh, uh, the peace of mind on your blood bought believers right now. Hold on, saints. Mm. You told us to hold on. You said that those that endure to the end ooh, mm, shall be saved. I don't know how I'm going to endure if I don't hold on. Mm. I ain't trying to jump out the race, Father. I want to stay in the race. And as long as I'm in that race, I know that you are fighting for me. I see people jumping out. They tired. They frustrated. They like demons. When, when demons left Paul, they went back to the world. I'm not trying to be in that category. I pray for our leaders right now. I pray for them. But I, even in my prayer, Father, I already know things that you say that's going to happen. I can't change that with my prayer. It's going to happen. I don't want to change that with my prayer. It's going to happen. So we just might as well tighten up because it ain't going to lighten up. And hold on, saints, to the most highs, unchanging hands. And Bullen, I, I come right now in agreement with you with that comment the other day. We, we, we pray against this coronavirus and all this stuff right now. It's going to be an end put to it, sister. It's going to be an end put to it. I don't know when. But to me, it's already... For the saints, it's already an end put to it. We, we'll catch that later. So, Father, we just love you once again. You have never stopped loving us. You said, I will be with you always, even until the end of the age. So, if you told us that, Father, what make you think? What make us think you're going to leave us now? Hmm. You are here. A lot of people just don't know where you are. <laughs> Thank you for the spirit. The Holy Spirit, because it's many spirits. You told us to test the spirits by the Spirit to see if they're of God. 
Father, right now, I just ask for your love and protection around our children, the teenagers, the babies, the parents. These spirits are riding high, Father, and they trying to get the best of our children. And I just ask you keep them, I ask you just to keep them covered like you always do anyway, Father. That's my prayer. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I will not end the prayer without saying, Father, let your will be done. Let your will be done. As Psalm was saying, Jesus, the Christ, the anointed one, or Yahshua, whichever name you choose to use, as long as we are talking about the same Holy Spirit, the same one, to, to the most high be the glory. Y'all, that's my time. Don't get discouraged. Keep holding on. Let's go, saints. Let's go. Let's go. And with that being said, I ain't got nothing else to say, but let's go, saints. So let's go. Shalom. Amen. Hold on, saints. Ride's just getting started. This is just the beginning of the testing of your faith. Don't let it fail you now. You're going to need it more than ever. With what's to come. Don't forget to pray for the children. Fellow brothers and sisters all around the world. And those still lost in the darkness. So that they too can come to the light. See you next time.